Nation's cap. Yes. Nation's cap. There you go. Whoa. Well, Finland versus Ukraine. Awesome. I'm so happy to see now competitive games. These games really, really motivate me because might not be the favorite in the tournament, but this will be some some good quality games. Let's see if it's gonna if it's gonna happen. So now let's see Hupe, Hupe with the Mayans, handsome Mongols for both teams. Hupe flank. This is dangerous. He's facing cross fade. Cross fade, hands, then pocket, pocket Mayans. Whoa. Mayans pocket while Hans sunset pocket as well and Valas Mongols you don't know Valas Valas is a strong Mongols versus Mongols in the south in the one flank this is three versus three fantastic while on top of that we have Hans versus Mayans and Mayans versus Hans so ay 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 let's see man let's see Okay. Shot it. Shot it. Shot it. Can, another another one there. Look at that board. Well, a stone on a side. One stone forward. I'm I'm checking the stone because it's important. It's important. Three four villages on wood. Goal, he can make a little palisade and go close to the wood, okay. But uh, open map from Hupe, open map from Hupe. Well, you don't know those players because you are only used to see the same players all the time. NBL, Viper, blah, 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 blah. But there is a lot of players with 19, 2K plus rating on Wubli and it's needed, otherwise Will be no players, no players in the, in this game, and we really need not only the top super top experts. I know all them. Why? Because I I watch, I watch a lot, and I'm casting a lot, so I check and I know that. What is this? Oh man. Okay, that's not needed. You are oh, the hands. Oh come on. Well, first little Titanic by the the 19 plus player. You can see how the board is back. This is not good. Anyway, he's gonna send the villager to the TC. Okay. Oh man. Well, no, it's fine. It's fine. That shit was was done already. Well, we can check map from from green, gold forward, and all that part of the map really open. Stone forward as well. Do you need to wall, Mister Spec? No mercy. But he's facing the Valas. Valas is. Well, in my opinion, it's a player that could be really, really close to play on, on Finland A. At least when they played together, that was really good, man. Really, really good. Valas is really strong, but I don't think so, Hupe. Look at Hupe Lurin. Be careful, Hupe. I don't think so that Hupe is at the level of those those from the Ukraina A, B, but... Ukraina A, sorry, but also Sunset... Mm. Well, we're gonna find out. We're gonna find out how they are going to play. Do you know that the multitasking is really important? Of course they are. They are good players. This is not 18 versus 15, which is the most important. And the strategies in these kind of games matters a lot. Go for the bettings. Remember, option 1, Ukraine. Option 2, Finland B. Okay? Well, he's doing the Barra crossfade. And he's gonna go for the Dras. But Valas and Expect No Mercy, both Mongols, are going almost at the same time up with five second difference. We can see how green has already two farmers. Two farmers. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Well, and Balas is with Mongols, so... He's with Knight Civilizations, definitely. Remember, you can pick Civilizations here. Well, we want to see what I really... What I'm really curious to see is what is gonna happen with the pocket. It's Mayans, so not all gonna have knights. 
Gonna be Castle and Blue Marchers. I guess then that uh, Red will try to go Drash, Fast Castle. But Hupe is, is going 23 population up. 23 population up. He's doing a Lumber Camp. Now he's gonna mine Gold. Yes. Taking the ships. He's doing a, a right build order, but he's coming with the militias. Let's see if now Hupe is going to panic. He's going to panic or not. We will see soon. He does, They don't have any walls yet. Playing pretty, pretty open, which is nice. It's nice because we're going to see some action. Oh, come on! Come on! This is so risky, but it's probably a good choice. Why? Because he's going aggressive with towers. He's going to make a tower on his face. And then Sunset can go with knights while yellow will be slower with blue marchers this is a beautiful and amazing a fantastic a sick tower sick tower from from balas definitely look at this and he's not gonna see it let's go right now to who to crossfade not to expect no mercy this guy is really good player but he gonna have a tower on his face that he has a goal at the back well in that spot but he's trying to push the deer? Not anymore. Look at the tower. Alright. I will focus in this side then. He's gonna make another tower. He will have two spears. This is good strategy. I'm telling you the reasons. The reasons are clear. He still don't see. He still doesn't see. Don't see anything. He's gonna cut all the way to go for the goal. But he has another goal at the back. He can see now the house. But he didn't notice. Now he see the tower. And he can see that he's gonna make another tower. Whoa! So he's sending all the damn villages. Fine, but he has another wood on top of that. So green, is he gonna send the scout at home? Let's check. Let's check he's coming from behind with three scouts. The forward, the forward is there. Really? This will be a good strategy from Finland. Really good strategy. He's now going to make a counter tower? Probably. Gonna make it and he has one goal. So if he has stopped it here, he might be fine. But still... This is Hans Pocket. Hans Pocket. While Mayans, Market and Blasmid, super fast, gonna be. Ay, ay, ay. Look at the tower, and now it's time to, to do what? Well, he's mining a stone, definitely. He can wall forward. He lost one villier. He has 23 villiers. Valas, 24. At home, he's starting to make, yeah, more and more economy. And we need to focus. Another tower. That tower is fantastic. So this tower actually is not defending absolutely anything. This tower is taking down those two farmers. Taking down the berries. So really, green is in troubles. It's in real troubles. Oh yeah. Gonna make a house. Gonna try to wall there. He's mining a stone. He's still taking the wood. Yes. Now doing some palisade. Good as well. Those farmers need to be deleted. Need to be deleted. Those three scouts gonna kill that scout from sunset. Classic Pro. It's super fast in Castle Age. That's the good thing. Gonna make the castle fast and unpredictable. Let's go to Classic Pro a bit to see if he can see everything. Well, he explored the other side, but he need to help. He need to help to green. Definitely. In the other side, we can see the Titanic is real. Well, he's gonna lose some billion. Hupe 26 villages while red 31 villages already. Hupe has lost already 5 units and killed 1. What he has killed? All villages, man. We didn't notice. 1 villager down. Well, he has lost another down. Hupe on a good titanic mode in the other side. Because he's so behind in terms of villages with cross fate. Like you can see. We, we cannot see everything. Why not? Because we need to focus in this spot. This is crazy walls. And those walls are really needed. He's now doing the castle. Really fast castle. Yes. And the castle will be up. But he need to send blue marches right away. Or he will be in trouble. Yeah, we can see Hoppe. Oh my god. Another villager down. Another villager down. While Crossfade is almost in Castellate. So Hoppe it's absolutely going to be destroyed very soon. He's gonna go Cav Arches. Well, if Hoope is going aggressive now with those Arches, he can do something. But Hoope did something really bad. He did the armor and not the fletching. When you do the armor first than the fletching, I'm telling you when. Never. Never! He has a plus one, man. The plus one armor. What the hell? Anyway, focus now there. He has the castle up. He's doing the plus marches and sending where? 
No gather point. Now he's coming to make another tower here. Ay, 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 ay. He's gonna see it. Let me check. Spec no mercy. Spec no mercy. Why did you put that big name? So, spec no mercy for your, your opponents. That tower is good. Valas is doing a good job. Spec no mercy is still with good population. And Valas is doing some towers at home. He's now sending knights. With the knights, he's gonna be in big trouble. He's doing the tower there. But he will need to move here, the Lambrican. Yes. He need. And he will be... Well, Blasmid, Fletching, some archers, but he's in Castle Age. Well, Hupe is far from going up to Castle Age. He has Botkin Arrow, plus two. Now he has the plus one, plus one, okay. And he's killing all those archers. He's gonna be able to defend? I don't know. Really, Hupe need to make towers. If he's not doing towers, he's gonna be destroyed very soon. Really, really soon. Yellow, really good score. Sunset as well. The Knights are coming. He's walling everything. He's now doing the Lambert Camp, and the Knights are there. Are the blue marches going to come? He's trying to come. Three, four, five blue marches. He's gonna find now the, the, the villagers. He's gonna find the villagers. He needs to make another tower. Ay, 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 like I told you, this is dangerous. But I still telling you that the Mayans pocket can be huge. Oh, 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 is he gonna find those villagers? Let's see if yellow gonna notice classic pro. He's gonna see those. Yes, he can see. And those are two villagers down now from Valas. One down and two down. Bam, down. Okay, there's a hole, there's a hole, and now, big trouble from Spec, no mercy. Valas is still even less population with the raiding, with some scouts, and, well, Hoop is doing a good job there, with more population, more population than Crossfade, but still far from Castle Age. Where he's going to go Castle Age? Let's see, Hoopy, 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 Hoopy. No, man, he's years away from Castle Age. He's losing now some ability, he's doing some good job against the pocket. Just go back, yes. Those villages need to be bye-bye. But really, if Sunset with plus one is spamming, spamming knights, three TCs, he could make some damage here. Is a spec no mercy closer to go up? No! He has 600 gold, 300 stone. And what else? Now doing the market. He's trying to go as fast as possible to Castle Age. But his economy is weak, man. His echo is weak. He's not even doing villages right now. Ay, 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 ay. Look at the knights coming. Another two villages with the spears. He has blue marches, but wall that. You need to palisade. Palisade, Mr. Speck, no mercy. He's doing the palisade and another tower. He can see that tower? Definitely he can. He has the scout. He can make another counter tower. Make the counter tower. Make the counter tower. He's not doing. Oh, come on. Come on, man. Check it out. Balas on the way to Castellage. So in this flank definitely an advantage. A big advantage for Finland. But in the other side the same for Crossfade. Hupe in trouble. Those Cav Archers are gonna raid him completely. At least he's doing some towers. He need another tower. There you go. There you go. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. What are you talking? What are you talking? Anyway, more and more Kiavarches. He's now moving away, trying to raid. Not raiding. And with those knights, ay, ay, ay. He's gonna kill those blue marches? Mm, well, yeah. They are strong. Bloodless and plus one. Those knight, those blue marches probably need the ballistic. But still, if Balas is now coming aggressive, spec no mercy. Still not up to Castle Age. And now, blue is doing is going where? I don't know, he's chasing, he still make more towers, is Hupe going up, or he's not gonna go up? Yeah, the game is so interesting, Hupe, zero walls, which is nice, but is really, really dangerous. Yeah, Hupe is so, so behind, and now the rating is real. Yeah, Hupe is trying to, to chase those cab arches, look at that goal, terrible goal, that he has another, well, he could make a TC there, but he's not, oh, well, he has here another, okay. Blue marches, and now those knights from sunset. Really? Speak no mercy. Almost in Castle Age. 38 villages. But Valas, guys, 31. He's in Castle Age. But he has 31 villages only. So his economy is not the greatest, man. He's really not the greatest. Population between Classic Pro and Sunset, the same. But now Yellow is doing the damage on Valas. Really? Two archery ranges, crossbows, but those crossbows are not gonna work against those blue marches. And where is orange? Yeah. He walled pretty fine. Actually, he's completely walled. Whoa! He's palisading there. Well, just make a make a, I don't know, make a gate into your TC. What the hell? Yeah, yeah, well, Hupe is bye-bye. 
Kupe is right now 53 population. He's halfway to Castle. Those arches can do something. But still, the cap arches are stronger. But if you send more, yeah, that can work. Anyway, multitasking. Come on, use those villages, man. Use those villages. Still, 52 population. He's defending decently okay. But this, but red, now with two tone centers, more farmers, and a lot of cap arches. He's also raiding orange. Letting Classic Pro be on top shape. And then Classic Pro will be able to go up to Imperial faster than the Hounds probably. And that can be terrible. Expect no mercy. Well, look at those blue marchers doing the damage. Alright. Population. Between Sunset and Classic Pro almost the same. Between Crossfit and Hupe after all that raiding, surprisingly close. Why? Because Hupe has 21 archers, but villagers, Hupe 33. 33 villages while crossfade 52. If he's not doing some damage right now, this is gonna be a total destruction later on in the game. Why? Because he's gonna be in Imperial faster or if he's gonna make more archery ranges, he might in the amount of cap arches he's gonna send. He need another tower. Because with one tower, he's, it's impossible to defend here. Oh my god. Now look at this. He's trying to kill those gold miners. He's doing a TC. He's going with the blue marchers, he's sending some camels, and I really think that Ukraine with Mayan's pocket even has a big, big advantage. Yeah man, a big advantage. Well he's trying, he's trying now to make some good damage, but still, he has one TC, tower, another TC, he's not gonna be able to make any damage, not a big one, except that Crossfade didn't notice that he's there with the archers, and that can happen? No! He noticed and he just killed one villager, not big deal. While in the other side, he's getting so much idle time. Man, Hupe is destroyed with 34 villages and 20 idols. What the hell? One, two, three archer ranges, siege wars up, okay. Look at this, man. Look at this. Okay. Well, Hupe is trying to make some, some damage. But still, we see that the score difference is not that big. Why? Because Spec No Mercy is in troubles. But Classic Pro, guys, <laughs> is Imperial, man. He's going to Imperial. And Sunset? He's, oh, he's clicking up, man. He's clicking up Imperial too. But still, is he gonna go Eagles or Blue Marchers? That's the key here. Is he gonna go Eagles or Blue Marchers? Valas is still ahead, man. He should go aggressive. Well, I don't know. He has one, two, three tone centers green. 42 villages, Valas only 41, and a lot more army. But Sunset, this is the work from the hands. 112 villages. Pocket, 112 villages. Look at the amount of blue marshes and crossbows dead there. Oh my god. Sunset husbandry. He's on the way to Imperial. And he's going to Imperial when he got almost 2,000 each resources. Unbelievable. He's going for the blue marshes. But really, if Orange is going with a lot of knights and make them paladins, I'm so not sure if this game it's that over, man. If Orange is playing good, the power of the hands or the hands power can be there, man. But they can't. They really can't with Hoopy being behind. That's not something new. They know that he was going to be behind with these players. But really, if they make Cavaliers, what the hell, man? What the hell? They can do something. Definitely. Let's see, man. This is a lot of crossbows, 30 amount of army is a lot, well expect no mercy just got few camels that are not really great. Well just go a bit back, if you make the chain barden armor he has and then the plus 4. And cavel, look at the resources for orange, whoa, he just need to keep a bit busy. Red, well, red has good population also, power, hands power. They just need to make damage to someone. If they make... Oh, but go, go together. What are you doing? Oh, come on. Well, Blue Marches with plus three. Elite Blue Marches and Chemistry. That's a lot. And Spec No Mercy is now defending properly. Of course, it's better games. This is, this is nice games. Definitely. 
they are all over 17 18 for sure and all the 1v1 ratings from ukraine it's 19 plus almost 2k for all them so ay 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 Okay, well, Reenarchian Armor, Thumbring, Conscription. And now, sending those. This is a lot of, lot of blue marches going to raid Teal Valas. Is he gonna notice instantly? We will see. He's doing all the arm raids. He has crazy resources sunset. He's gonna kill Villiers now. There you go. Reaction from Valas? Not really, not really, man. Oh, come on, man, really. Oh, man, really. Don't lose eight villages or, or I don't know. So many villages losing there. He's still ahead, but really, Coupe population. He's doing now a castle there, which is nice. He has a lot of crossbows, hand cart, but Coupe is still 52 villages. Well, his guy has 106 villages, man. He's not doing the castle, man. What the hell? Is he? Is he really not finishing this castle? Are you kidding me, man? 99% Hoopé? Whoa, man, he's sending more villagers. Okay, he's doing all. Not 99, but... He lost so many villagers again. Okay, he's finishing the castle. Thanks, God. Whoa, I got a scary movie, man. Scary movie. Now he's recovering all the map. All I can tell you. Now, Sunset with Paladins can do the job but he really need to send the paladins kill all the blue marches and come on they just need to kill someone and kill someone is going to green if they go inside yellow has now no army that can stop the paladins so finland need to do something he's chasing those blue marches that he has a husbandry because those blue marches seems to be super strong and now those cavaliers doing the job definitely plus four plus two is he's a strong man he's a strong but again they need to kill someone they are not killing they are just now chasing and they have the advantage in both flanks well not really on, on valas and expect no mercy but with hoopy big difference big big difference let's see if hoopy can recover we can go now to crossfade crossfade is on the way to imperial so if orange is not doing any damage he has a lot of army, man. 157 villages. Whoa! -ho -ho. Sunset, can you just go and kill Slink? Send something? He has crazy, crazy population. 200 population. Military now is going a bit more down from yellow. Blue marches, just go. Help blue. Or, or I don't know. And still, 106 population. Valas trying to get a stronger and a stronger 78 villages but expect no mercy is now ahead in villages he's doing a castle he's basically booming green all the game because he was so behind trying to recover but now orange can do the job definitely as the paladins and he's killing all the blue marches but they need to make the damage to some some player he's mining gold yeah but you have 160 villages come on start to the lead village sunset you have 46 farmers 26 lumberers 27 gold miners 21 stone miners 20 villages building also some idle but this is so many villages you need to stop chasing and kill echo if you don't kill economy now red will come fast and unpredictable and destroy hoopy but now he listened he listened to the advices. It's not that he listened, just a coincidence. But Paladins from Sunset are gonna make the damage, are gonna clean villages. If you kill now like 30 villages to crossfade, maybe Hoopé, since Mayans is cheap, can recover a bit. And there you go. Paladins and Blue Marches raiding completely. Now raiding red on top, on the other side, killing the TC. Ay, 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 ay. This can be the comeback in the game. If they really kill red, if they kill red, Hoopé should be able to come back and recover. His resources are getting stronger and stronger. Those Blue Marches are good but the paladins definitely are better he's now ready go 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 kill the mangonel and kill a lot of villiers because we want to see a crazy crazy game vamos now valas is going to be an imperial faster than expect no mercy so valas if he's also playing good and recovering with the mongols power ay 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 those trebuchets you need to defend that damn castle 
kill the castle, man. kill the traps. Those traps which are alone. But Orange is now destroying Crossfade. Oh man! Look at Crossfade population. He's going down, 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 and more down. Do you really need to recover, Mr. Hoope? Do you have now plenty of time? Make some damn fucking walls. He's not even walling. Why he's not walling? Are you a pro? Come on, Hoope. Wall a bit and make the damage. Now doing barracks, Obamas. He's gonna make what? Eagles, Halberdiers or what? You need to save your Paladins. But those Paladins really did the damage. Still, 100 villages. Now they are going to make market? Yes, they do. Sunset gonna, ma gonna make more gold, but you need... Oh, don't make market like this. I hate that when that happened. Make the market at the edge of the map. Come on. That only so that in Imperial might not be his best age from uh, Sunset. I just hate that. Make the market at the edge of the map. Anyway, let's see all those paladins killing the trebuchet, killing the blue marches, killing everything. All right, now we can see how green is coming with mine with I sign candles, but Balas will do the same as well. Uh, that he has a castle, only one castle. He need more, definitely. But he's walling and trying to recover. Remember, these guys in Imperial are better. Well, not better than Ukraine. I mean that they are better than playing in Castle Age. I'm sure about that. Yes, now Paladins keep reading a lot. He did a really good job. He put on trouble Crossfade. Really? His resources, now he has some gold, yes. He's doing Cavalry, but he has no food. He has no food, so they can't counter. He's reading all the time. Wow! That's, I love it, man. I love it. Let's make more market. You need trade. Do you see the difference? In 45 minutes, 45 minutes, they should have already like 20 trade cards or something. And they are not doing. They are not doing. 200 population sunset, 143 Valas and 100 Hupe. Hupe is still behind. He's not going to be an Imperial. Now let's see. Because the game is getting so, so, so damn interesting. Doing more stable, taking the relic. We need to check sunset. What the fuck? What the damn fuck, man? What the hell, man? 4,000 gold and 1,200 stone? Give immediately all those resources or I'm going to cry to Balas to make him go for Elite Magodice. He has Elite Magodice, so really, with those resources, damn the lead the 100 villages and make 100 paladins. Come on, man! Come on! I'm the believable, man. I'm, I, I... No, really, just make paladins, man. Make paladins, man. 4,000 gold, 1,500 stone, it's league, man, it's league! <sighs> okay, okay, I love myself too, thank you for telling. But now, look at this, he's coming with elite magnetics, plus four, plus four armor, and so many stables. Yes, he... <laughs> Why he keep make, taking the gold? You don't need gold, make the army, man! 30 army, and he is still mining gold, more paladins. Please, we want to see crazy game. Well, the game is really interesting already. But it's Link, man. They are in team speak. Expect no mercy, no resources. Valas, Valas, zero resources. Valas has zero resources, definitely. Hoopy. Hoopy has no food, no wood. While the other guy has Michi resources. Let's see if they are going to send something. Also, here, make some walls. Okay, did he send resources? Yes, he did. Awesome. He is still with 2,000 stone, not sending the stone to Valas. Valas need castles all over the map, but I'm telling you, look at this. And now he's not wall. Well, he's gonna wall, but he's unbelievable, man. They are coming back from the hell. Look at the population. Sunset is still 163 population. He's now deleting or losing some villages. They are going to make trade, no trade, classic pro 17 trade card. This is all wall, yes, it's all wall, one, two castles, another castle as well, and blue marches, he's still, I mean Magudais, he still have now 47 Magudais, but Valas, I'm telling you guys, if Valas, nah, don't make, well, if he has a lot of crossbows, yes, make Carvalis. Those elite Magudais fully upgrade and, and now Hupe 117 villages, 22 army, a lot of house, a lot of house, but against blue marches, cuckoo, nothing. Yes, they wall, and now the game is going to Imperial. Unbelievable that the game is going to Imperial. He is still with over 2,000 stone not using. If he's not sending that stone, I don't know what to say. Over 3,000 gold and 30 army. Sanchez is doing a good job, yes, but man, if he was playing super strong, Finland. 
probably will have killed already this game. Yes, because I'm telling you, I'm telling you, Crossfade was really, really, really in trouble after that big, big raiding. Now they have five markets. All the markets, he didn't make a single market at the edge of the map. I know that he's not... I think that he's gonna give you the game, but it's little details and all the details are starting to matter. Now he's starting to lose some ground. Look at the amount of Magodice, the amount of blue marches, while here Finland is getting troubles. Getting trouble because they don't have the amount of army needed. You can see how the Mayans 81 army. 81 army! Come on! Now more Paladins, more Paladins coming, they are repairing both players, good amount of Magodice, this is so many Paladins, Magodice and Paladins go together and baba boom, gonna take it, probably both are going to lose the castles, it's possible, well, I'm not sure now, but send the Paladins man, send the damn Paladins, oh whoa, this is some misplay really, but still, in the other side, now, with the, with the Halvard Ears, 150 population, are they are going to spam, well, Let's see, I think the important fight is here. So many blue marches, the castle is down, there you go, and send together everything! They are not sending together, and not sending all together is gonna cause him to lose all those paladins. Well, now more and more trebuchet, are they doing more? Oh, 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 they don't focus, they don't notice, they do not notice that they are breaking the walls. And then, they are going to, yeah, the multitasking, man. The multitasking sunset is still over 2,000 stone not used. Over 2,000 stone not used. Unbelievable. Unbelievable, really. While Valas, 100 and he buy stone, man. Are they really on team speak? Because this is, for me, I don't know, frustrating, man. Frustra oh! He sent 1,500 stone, yes! Finally, he sent all the damn stone with... Look at those, look at those. Paladins and Magnus exactly taking, taking this, but they don't see that they break in that side. Probably they are not going to go because the push is real from Finland. So is Finland B going to be able to come back from the hell? I think so that it can happen man, it can happen. Now they are starting to get the trade also and finally they are slinging. Valas is taking now with a lot of Magodice, a lot of Magodice and I'm telling you that if the Mongol gets super strong that's the way to go. But here look at it, expect no mercy, it's inside, they do not notice, he has one Arbalest, that Arbalest that he didn't notice that he was there, he might save him, he's gonna lose the villages, he's gonna kill those villages, oh wow, he's sending villages inside and they do not notice the multitasking from Finland is not the greatest you see is he now sending the paladins yes but he's sending paladins 20 paladins to kill two rams and now they notice one villager inside look at the stable only one villager yes they just need to keep focus there and going and here paladins blue marches what is the oh come on this is it Thank you, man. Thank you for the subscription. But I will try to focus completely on this one. Well, uh, yellow 200 population, spec no mercy 170. I still see Hupe. What is his army? Come on, Hupe. You can do it, man. Well, no resources at all. He has uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. 14 army, man. 14 army, 143 villages, Hupe. You need 143 villages with, with, with Mayans. What's going on, man? This is, this is just, look, look at the other Mayans. 79 villages, 80 army. You have 150 villages with Mayans. Now, seriously, I'm not trolling. You need to stop uh, playing Black Forest because playing in this one, you are just doing villages, man. 150 villages is too much, man. You don't need that. Anyway, they are walling everything. And here in the middle, they are really pushing. The good thing is, that they are not close to the economy and if now Hupe is losing villages, it's gonna just help him. He need more buildings. Yes, yeah, stone. You pay the stone, you need blue marches also or castle. Well, you know, well, 100 helm. It would be great. Anyway, still, the interesting part is in the middle. Hopefully, the game is gonna get better. The problem is, the real problem is, let me, let me just check one thing, is here. This is the problem that yeah, that the three minutes they, they put a spectator delay is is bringing problems to to the to the stream. 
Yeah, it's happened always. But the game is just amazing. We are. This is just a aperitif that is what to go, that what well, what gonna happen on the nations cap when getting our later and later stage. And I'm sure that people like Jetteris and some others, when they see great games like this, they are going to get motivated to keep playing more and more. But right now, in this spot, definitely, definitely, that Finland is doing the damage. Well, some hazards just kill that TC, that uh, stable. This is a beautiful caster from Balas to protect the trade. But the push here is, is real, man. This is a lot of man with 44, but really, now, Classic Pro, Cross Freight, and Spec No Mercy has a lot of army. 60, 44, and 48, while Finland is struggling. He is really, really strong. He has 6 ramps, but Hupe is unable to mass 60 army or something. Just try to gather. Try to gather. Don't waste. He's all the time sending Halvardiers alone. Wasting, wasting, and more wasting. Yes. Well, in the other side. They are still going, but now look at that micro trying to kill all the traps. But in the meanwhile, they are killing a lot of magudas. Whoa! Okie dokie, okie dokie, ay ay ay. Well, he need to send a paladino. Yes, he's going to kill that stable. Let's remember something. Yes, this is what I wanted to see. Siege Ornager upgrade. If you make siege ornagers, still, man, Mayans are so cheap. I'm not worried about Hupe. Hupe could be able to, to defend, but that market. To let that market, the trade can go there. And still, halves and eagles, really easy to spam. Really easy to spam. His resources not the great, but he is doing trade cards as well, so he's fine. Sunset has four relics also. Whoa, that can be a good economy, good plus. Hey, some blue marches. If he's going with the eagles, he's gonna take it down, no problem. Now doing more markets. Still, he's okay. And now Orange is helping with Paladins too. This is stabilized a bit. Oh, he got Ferraris, man. The siege orders from Palace are with the grid. Ferraris also. Whoa, whoa, guys, be ready. We can see some crazy bubble. Yes, they have 54 trade card, but still, Finland has close to 40 Palace, and the other 30, 22 is okay. Is okay. It's okay. Let's see those siege orders. Those siege orders. Ay, 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 ay. I want to see this. Oh, come on, come on, make now the shot. This is the Ferraris. He can really do the damage if he's killing all the damn blue marches. Come on, man. You need to protect why you are sending all those. Oh, because the Magudais, they are going to the other side. And the overchop is going to be real. Not really. Not really. Now he's moving, trying to get it down. Just protect with the siege owners, those castles, and try to go and kill... Yes, Grim, man. Siege owners, siege engineer. Has siege engineer? Yes, he does. Wow. Okay, Hupe still now finally holding with 48 army. He's doing more helps, more eagles. Yeah, helps and eagles is good combo if you get paladins to support and also Magudais. But guys, let's see this. This can be beautiful. This can be really beautiful. Okay, let's see so many siege onagers. He's now coming with the threads. One, two, three threads. Look at those blue marches. Oh man. Ay, 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 ay. Is he inside? Nah, this is nothing. This is nothing. Well, some blue marchers. The, the green, green is still there with the Mago dice, but he's not doing any damage now. What is he going to do now? Citron is Hazards. He has Hazards. Shoot, man. Shoot. Yes, he's shooting. He's gonna kill, but he's losing the castles, man. He's losing. Oh, but he has a lot of castles. It's okay. Well, it's not terrible, at least. Valas coming with those. He's there with those Mago dice. Are they going to kill it? The problem here is that I think Hupe is never pushing. He's not going with Siege. You need to gather everything and don't waste your army. Now he's adding Siege. Wars of Forward. He's not... And now this is gonna be a huge fight. The state unit because this can't work. Now losing the castle. Yes, but the Siege Honors are coming. Let's see these Honors as well. Ay, 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 ay. Valas, be careful, man. Those Honors forward. Don't send the Magundais. Come on, you have the Siege Honors. Now he's making some good shot. There you go. And... Oh man, that micro from Balas, that micro from Balas, he lost almost all the damn siege owners. Come on, man. You can do it better, I'm sure. And he's letting that owner die. Yeah. No, he saved it. Shoot it. Yeah, he shoot, he killed some more, but he's coming with crazy amount of mango dice. And now he's inside. He's inside. Unbelievable that he's inside. Why? Because they open. They just open. There is a hole and it's open. Now Balas is trying to go. Yes. 
He's killing a lot of trade. If they kill the trade, ay, 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 he's gonna kill the trebuchets, yes. But they need to kill the trade, but they are pushing also in the other side. Are you for real? They are pushing in the north. The trade is in troubles. They just need to kill all those and they are killing. This is absolutely sick game already. Whoa! And now, Hope coming back from the hell, is finally pushing unbelievable. And unbelievable that Phil and B can't take this. Well, some paladins killing villages to sunset. Sunset doesn't need those villages anymore. They don't need it. And here they stabilize and all the castle. They kill all the units in the trade. Yes. And here they are into the, almost into the trade. The push is real. Well, six rams, halves, eagles. They are now raiding a lot, a lot. And red is losing a lot of villages too. Whoa, whoa. Now they need to wall. Are they going to, to wall? Yes. Finally walling that hole. Whoa. Well, I'm getting, I'm sweating, guys. I'm sweating. I need, I need water. I need water. Just, just need to forgive me, but I need water. They are doing good, man. They are doing good. Come on, it's not easy to take, to, to control everything at the same time. It's not easy. Look at those siege owners. Those are Hazar, but he has three castles. Those, those Hazars are going to go to the hell. Fast and unpredictable. Yes, and now he is still there with eagles, reading everything. What? 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 The eagles can work? Well, they can, definitely. Hazars make a wall. This is not walling. He's gonna make a gate. He has no villages there. <laughs> it's only Hazars. Don't be... Don't take... Don't worry too much, man. Don't worry too much about the hazards. You need to find a way to kill the trade. If he's... Ooh, he can really push here. Just make more buildings and that's it. Still, I see teal and blue now with low population. Why? Because they drop a lot of the villages. 57 villages for Palace. Palace, no food, no wood. And no gold. Well, no nothing. No resources. But he's still with good amount of farming and 53 trade cards. So no problem. Just send the paladins focus. And if you get all together, they still can win the game. Let's focus now on Ukraine. Ukraine, classic pro, classic pro, classic pro resources. Mm. Mm -hmm. Michi resources. 4,000 wood, 4,500 food, 4,000 almost gold. Unbelievable. When crossfade, no gold. I mean, no gold. It's, it's unacceptable that you have 4,000 gold. Yes, thank you, man. You listened to me and he sent 3,000 gold to cross faith. Crazy. And no food. So he need the food too. Wow. Now, sunset, good resources. Expect no mercy. Also, no gold with the Mongols. But they are. They are holding there. And they are inside. Oh, man. There you go. They cut it here, man. They cut it. They, they are getting the initiative. They are being on the time behind. Oh my god, he killed a lot of owners. There you go. Wow. Ba -ba -boom. All the damn owners are bye bye with one owner. He has killed all the Magundites. Look at the disaster. No GG, man. No GG. It's not GG. Fuck telling GG. Why is going to be GG? It's not GG, man. It's not GG. He killed all the Magundites, man. All the Magundites. Whoa. And now just defend that one and that's it. They are fine, man. They just kill absolutely everything. Look at the spec not mercy population. It's absolutely beautiful, man. Beautiful. In the other spot in the north, you can see all those paladins, halberdiers, and eagles. Well, I love to see finally some great game in this nation's cap. Just to let all those, to let all those, there you go, there you go, and those Magunai is gonna kill all those blue marches, they let the mining camp, just fix, try to fix everything, go, go and wall in front, in front, you need to wall up, up, don't wall that close, wall there man. Anyway, he's not walling, here also Magunai is also raiding, so who's gonna win here? Who is gonna be able to stabilize, to calm down, to don't be crazy like I do, they will take this. Valas resources is still absolutely at the limit. 10 farmers, 37 Lambrias, 51 trade card. What? The damn hell. He's not able to, to stabilize? Seems like not. And we can see how Speak No Mercy is going with a lot of a lot of Magodice. Trebuchet. And now gonna try to push. If they are losing that castle, ay ay ay. Where is Valas army? Valas army is all over the map. He soon wall. Yes. And now try to cover here. But they have. Look at this. 
They have Magunites in the trade, and they do not notice. They are killing little by little, trade, trade, and more trade. And another stable with the Hazards, being annoying. Well, it's just being annoying. Oh, come on. Vili is. Vili is a sneaky boy. Yes, gonna make some damage, probably. What the hell? Okay, let's see now. Look at those Magunites. And... Let's see, let's see. We have to respect everyone. You ha we have to respect everyone. Captain Stark, nobody is idiot. Pe people have personal preference and we have to respect everyone. We don't need to, to bash or tell anything bad to others, man. It's no problem. It's no problem. Nobody's God and nobody is number one or anything. Just personal preference and I'm not being polite. I'm being really serious. Really serious. Yeah. But now... Well, he's doing a stable, doing a Lambrecan there, come on, you need to kill that, oh man, oh man, well, he's a sneaky mode, choose Hazard, and gonna kill all, gonna kill all, you are crap, Tony90, you are number 90 at the maximum, but here, look at those, man, he's coming now with a lot of, a lot of trebuchet, and with those siege owners, I, yeah, yeah, look at those amount of siege owners, this can be now the game, man, the score is pretty, pretty close, but this is getting the heal, they are getting the heals. oh man, they need help, man, they need help, I really think that the multitask Asking is way better. It's really, really better here from Ukraine. It seems that they are attacking all the time, all over the map. And Finland, one step behind. One step behind, really. Yeah, well, he has that. Uh, radio kills dead, but still, he stopped a score and he's now pushing and killing more and more castles. But still, still, Valen has a lot of castles. And look at here. Sending the stable, now moving all those villains, gonna clean all, well, I don't know, I don't know, he should send some ramp, wall, do you see that they are not focused, they seem to be a bit more confused, and now Finland be never, never in good population, little by little, coming and poo, 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 pushing, they are not working together, look how he's sending the paladins, the game is going bad, due to the, to the big delay, to the bigger delay, definitely, we need that the host get a good connection, if not, the game lag, like he's lagging right now. Oh, come on. A pause? No. It's a pause, it's lagging. Well, we can see, we can see, we can see now. Trying to repair the castle with the siege owner. Let's see if he's gonna make some good shot. No, open formation and he's gonna lose it. There you go. Now sending the paladins in the other side, blue marches. And now siege wars of the eagles are not working anymore. Hoopa finally doing elite blue marches, but he has one castle. One damn castle. No, man. Oh, a hole here, over chop, I wanted to say. Let's see if they are going to kill this. They kill all those villagers. But now, oh man, they are unable to kill them, man. Why? Because they still have a lot of Magnites. Another hole and the blue marches! Ay, 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 ay. No, no, but no wall there. What? Wall forward, man. It's open. It's open. It's still open. It's still open. He's trying to wall, but he's, he's unable to wall. Hoopa, slow, man. Now, crazy amount of blue marches is gonna kill everything. And this might be the game. This might be the game, but how to stop now the Paladins and the Blue Marchers there? Well, they can send Paladins or, or Magundites. They still have good amount of army, but Ukraine all the time with a lot more army. A lot more army. Well, they are getting inside. He has Eagles, Eagles and uh, nothing else. Well, there are a lot of Blue Marchers with so many Paladins. So the combo is perfect. It's absolutely perfect to kill everything. Let's see if it's gonna happen. Whoa, oh, oh. Now he's moving some more villages and the paladins and the crazy amount of blue marchers are doing the job. Whoa, man. Now the trade is still also going bad. I don't know why. Why? Because I think he didn't let ever the market look. All his trade is going through the middle of the map. What the hell, Hoopa? The old market deleted, man. Well, those are little mistakes, but Hoopa definitely never, never recover a hundred percent. He was trying to push, but with Mayan's power, you should be able to, to get more and more army. Now, this is over. They are getting destroyed. Well, Hoopa is by buying the game, losing absolutely everything. No army, no villages, no nothing. Yeah, let's check if he can recover. He has no resources, no gold. 
Yeah, it's, it's GG guys, GG. Absolutely, they are not calling yet, but they will have to call it. Yeah, you can see how they are, well, yeah, look at this, look at the trade, man. I mean, those are mistakes, man. He has 34 trade and he's losing all the trade. All the trade, all the trade, okay. Look at that. Paladins, he's killing all, he's killing absolutely everything. With so many paladins killing the blue marchers. Now, well, he can kill that now, but Hoopa is dead. Hoopa is completely dead. Well, he did so many mistakes in this game, to be honest. But, uh, yeah, Ukraine is playing really strong also. But was is beating a really nice game. Till now, probably the best game in this Nations Cup. Absolutely. Close game, all over one hour, 20 minutes already. Wow, I will calm down a bit because... Well, let's see, let's see, with Mayans you always can recover fast, you don't need a great economy, but th they are cleaning him completely, you know, completely. They let that damn market, come on, man. They let the market, man. Yeah, Balas is doing a great job, he, he need to, he can't focus because the difference is that expect no mercy, he is with Mongols focused completely in his spot, in his side, while Balas need to be to the other side all the time, and I can tell you that when you have to do this with Magodai as well, with Sikh civilization, and control the Ornegers, control the Endemagodai, is so complicated. You can see how he's sending hazards constantly, and he's losing a lot of Ornegers all the time. And they are really, really expensive. And still, Palanis are there. Palanis are there, so he's trying to recover and try to, to get back Hoopa into the game. With 44 villages, almost no wood, no gold, and no stone. Is he the lead in the market? Is still not the lead in the market, which is, is really, really a pity. And he, he lost... Yeah, almost 30 trade cards. He got 50, and now he has 23. So, he's losing all, everything, because the trade keep going to the middle of the map. You can see how, even not being the... Oh, that was a good on shot. Even not being in the top shape there, Hoopy. Yeah, man, the team it managed, managed to recover the ground one more time. But then, the problem is that Valas keep getting pushed, pushed, pushed. You can see all those trebuches, Siege on Aga, and then he's gaining more and more ground. And if he kill those castles, then Hoop, uh, Valas, sorry, is not out of the game, but they are, they are super, super close to the trade, to push for real, man, for real. Yes, they are getting so close, exactly what I said, exactly what I said. Well, let's see. Hoopa still with 100 population while everyone else on the Ukraine 200. 200 and Valas and Sunset 160. They are in big trouble. They are at the limit. They are struggling in everything. Hoopa only have food. Classic Pro has 10,000 food and 5,000 gold. 10,000, yeah, 10,000 food and 5,000 gold. Crossfade, a lot of resources. Sunset, nothing. And expect no mercy except with a lot of resources as well. It's just matters of time. Because this is, yes, crazy amount of resources. Wow, man. Overchop again. They are again inside. He's trying to wall one more time. And the trade keep going into the middle. And for that reason, he keep losing all. Yeah. Oh, man. Well, he's not recovering. He has 50 villages, 24 army, and they are now cleaning again. Raiding, raiding and raiding. He has almost no town and... Uh, well, he's trying to go with eagles, trying to, to make some damage and try to kill the trade. But the push here, whoa! They managed to send some paladins, killing all those onagers. And now, with the paladins and the magundais, they are killing a guy and all the damn trebuchet. Well, Ukraine... Yeah, they are unable to finish completely the game. Well... It's big difference, but uh, they don't resign. Maybe other teams at this point will resign. But you know, a comeback is always possible. But now, again, blue marches and how to stop this. Yes, a lot of blue marches. A lot of damn blue marches. They are so cheap. Super cheap. And really, now, they are very soon, they are calling the GG. They were going to be out of wood. Finland, out of wood soon, man. Yes, was a nice game to watch, absolutely, achievements, military, you can see Sunset, he killed the most, 80 largest army, 76, well, a lot of kills also from Crossfade, the radio kill from Hupe is negative with Mayans, almost 300 units, 
while classic pro with mayans is a positive ratio positive positive ratio kills that which is crazy and amazing with mayan civilization always is complicated to have a positive ratio with this uh, civil, uh, with this civilization when there is siege onagers or paladins right expect no mercy he lost a lot he lost a lot with mongols balas killed a lot but in total well i think hupe could do a bit better but you know this is crazy and this is a strong games man strong games so guys stay absolutely tuned hope whoa hope Really, Thank you, you enjoy, guys. Away. Yes, finally, we are there with the second game, Ukraine A, Finland B. Hopefully, it's gonna be at least 50% as good at this, as the first game. And funny, guys. Nations Cap 2017. There you go. And uh, there you go, guys. There you go. 3v3 with Ukraine A and Finland B. Fantastic. Yes. Beautiful, beautiful, and this is it. Welcome everyone. Welcome everyone to the channel. Welcome everyone to the channel. It's not needed to put uh, caps to ask anything, and you can send me a whisper, and I will answer as well. Argentina is playing in three hours. In three hours. Now, juega en tres horas. Now we can see crossfade with Chinese. Persians and Mayans, Mayans, Vikings and Persians. Are you for real? Are you kidding me, man? Are you kidding me, man? I mean, they don't pick China? Do you really think that not picking Chinese in Nomad is the way to go? I think it's really, 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 really tricky. Well, CrossFit did a TC on a spot with tears. Now we have Hupe. TC with two villages, Persians, and uh, is he doing a, a dog? He's gonna make it. Then the Valas with Mayans. What the damn hell? Marino! 60 moves, man, he's back, man! Vamos, you a crazy Spaniard. Oh, man. Uh, Silver Surfer Argentina. Please. I will tell him in Spanish. No es necesario que pongas mayúsculas y sí lo voy a retransmitir en español por favor no pongas todo mayúsculas vale nos veremos luego en español no te preocupes and now we keep going I want to say to to make a little a little stop Mariño is an amazing lover boy has been a subscriber for over one year he got some financial problems and even like this he also subscribed now in the channel I want to give you a special thank you for subscribe to the channel for subscribe to the channel really damn appreciate it i told you that it's not needed because you are a lover boy so thank you the double double thank you double really appreciate it man now coupe bad spot because he is what close to the middle of the map mm, he's taking the board and the persians well persians always if he's a bad spot it can be compensate a bit but let's see we will see we have expect no mercy and red and then who is more or less into the middle well green is not really really far and then we have sunset with vikings on a good spot boar ships berries he did go, what is go, this go, man go, what the go, hell man go, go. for real nations cap and the pet puppy love it vamos memsu <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Bobs 100. Really damn appreciate it. Really damn appreciate it to all that people that support this crazy channel. Really. I will. I will, Mariño. I will do my best. Today is gonna be three matches a stream. And because there is no more. If not, I will do. I will do, man. Hope you, you like the boys as well. <laughs> well, we can see Mayans, the classic pro. He has three deals behind the TC. The boar one, two boars. And look at those. Look at those, Mobs, 100. I have no words, man, for your support. Appreciate it? No, the next level, man. The next level. Crazy. Crazy. Really appreciate it. Expect no mercy. With that TC, with the boar, gold, wood, it's, it's nice. It's so nice. He has the dog in the corner. Perfect. Another dog, very nice for crossfade. And I insist. I don't know, guys, what you think. But no Chinese is not good, man. 
is really not good. He's gonna take that boar. Well, Valas is housed. Thank you for he's following. Housed. Yeah, well, not not for a long time, so it's not terrible. Population, you can see how Sunset is already behind in terms of population. Is he taking the boar? He is really taking the boar. All right, but he was housed probably, and now with that villager, gonna take that boar. Okay. How many fishing ships? Three. Well, three fishing ships as well. Ah, that Lurin, Hupe, that Lurin. I don't know, man. I don't know. Yes, we know. And thank you. Just another me mediocre player. <laughs> thank you for the following. But that not the best, the best Lurin. Let's check all point of view. We can see how Balas is still taking boars. Yeah, Mayans, good spot for him, in my opinion. See in the corner, deer, spores, everything. Okay. Yeah, but if they don't take the water, they are basically jet is game over, you know? If they don't take the water, it's, it's almost game over with China, Persians and Mayans in the other team, really. So, let's see, man, let's see. Ch Chinese can be a really dangerous civilization. If he has a good start, and he does, he has already 20 villages. 20 villages which are ahead to all the others, but still, he's exploring absolutely everything, like you can see. Or, and he's starting to, to make some little walls. Let's go now, Spec No Mercy. Spec No Mercy has already a lot of fishing ships, six fishing ships. Well, similar. Oh, Hupe, okay. Doing the mill. And uh, you can see that he has explored a lot, but he's hmm, in the middle of the map, which is not the best either. Thank yeah, you for I know. Following. Well, let's see Sunset. Sunset has gold, deers, like you can see. That, that mill, I like it. I don't like those fishing ships. I don't know what he's doing with this. Just move it. There you go. And yellow. Classic pro. Yeah, good good spot as well. And he's gonna go up. Well, we will see. He's mining a stone. He has the gold there. A lot of ships. What the hell? That's really nice. But, like Jetrix pointed out, it's Sunset that is really low right now. Yeah, he's low, man. He's taking the water, he can take a lot of fishing ship really close to him. Really, really close. Whoa, whoa, whoa. But Sunset... is still not even up. He's still not up. And you want to go with the Vikings as fast as possible. Really? Let's see, one second, guys. Hopefully it's not a drop. They seem to, to, they seem to have some problems. Which is a pity between Finland. Yeah, it shouldn't be any trouble between Finland and, and Ukraine, but seems that it is. I don't know, we will see. Okay, well, he's doing a dog. He's probably the second, mm, probably. Yeah, this is normal. You start without the TC. You try to find the best spot possible. This is a pause because they continue and all the players are in the room, which is amazing. And now he's not doing any any yeah, he's not doing more villages. He needs to go up, but he's already sunset in a bad position. Why? Because he's not going up. He's also with either TC. He's still not with the foot and idle villages. And yellow, let's go to Classic Pro. We'll go for Castle Age. Yeah, definitely, he will. He's doing mining. He's mining Thank a stone, so following. this is a problem, man. Where's the middle lake? Why it has to be a middle lake in Nomad? There are no, no need to be a middle lake in Nomad. I think you confused the map. Now, Hupe is still also not up with 30 population. Now he's going up. Hupe person is going up. Well, expect no mercy. With the same population, is up already. So it's gonna be one no, one minute and twenty-five seconds difference. That means almost three population. Yes, and you can see that is a different man. Ay ay ay. Yeah, Finland seems to be in problems. Well, Balas is at the same time that Crossfade Classic Pro and expect no mercy. I really think that this map is a hard choice, and I don't know if it's a good choice from uh, from Finland. Really, we will see. Well, we can see Hupe with a uh, dog, another dog. Well, even if he's losing those fishing ships, he's fine. Because he's going up, man. He's doing the tone watch. Are you kidding me, man? Why you are 
doing the house with those villages. Ah, uh, okay, okay. He's doing the house, not gonna make the market. He needs to mine gold. It's possible, Humla Tapas, what you are telling, that maybe you are not gonna see any any lake in the middle. Yeah, but it makes lose the fun because a lot of times the lakes in the middle maybe makes the maps unfair, but makes the games way more interesting. Yeah, well, we will see. We will see with more Nomad games in the future, or we can play some bigger games with Nomad. Well, Chinese market and blasmith, double with axe and expect no mercy and Valas, Valas with. With what civilization was, I remember, yeah, Mayans are going to Castle Age almost at the same. Persians, really, really good time. Well, Mayans as well. And Classic Pro, crosses Cross Trade. So, it's gonna be three players in Castle Age. Really, really. While right now, oh, well, he's, he's gonna kill the fishing ships. Expected with the Vikings. But then. If you go castle and blue marchers, he's gonna be destroyed. Look, he cannot see him. Yeah, he cannot see, but uh, if he's just making a castle here in front of his goal, he's just gonna find super fast. And then Sunset will be in big troubles. Uh, in big, big troubles. I'm checking. Well, he has some good resources. Is he gonna kill those fishing ships? Yeah, he will. Or at least he's gonna make them idle. But still, he will start to make... Well, he's still taking the, the ships, so no problem. Now, Hupe. What Hupe is doing? Barak is stable. He's, look at the walls he's doing. China walls. What the hell? Well, Hupe and Crossfade are only 12 second difference. But, 39 population Crossfade. Hupe 34. 5 population difference. 5 population difference. Which... Which is a lot, man. Okay, Valas is doing the double dax, he's doing a TC, he's doing a boo, Valas? Well, this is so dangerous, why? Because if now Red is going Monks and Siege, and it can happen, then he's going Blue Marchers, and Blue is going Knights, who is doing Army? Just Hupe? Just Hupe? Well, I don't know, man. I don't know. War Galley Arbrid Crossfade. War Galley Arbrid, he's going Water, okay, that's interesting, really interesting. But now, Classic Pro is killing, is killing the fishing ships, which is unbelievable. Well, he has just one, one dog, maybe another, no, only one dog, and he's killing fishing ships. Be careful, now he's coming with fire ships. Ay, ay, ay. This is not looking good already. Not looking good already. He's going with the knights. Yes, going with the knight. He has the castle. I don't understand that castle. Well, still, he's covering the area. It's fine. Yeah, it's fine. Look at that TC on the Pali side. Oh, come on. Hoop is trying to go with the Knights. But he's not going to be able to do anything. Red is going for Boom as well. And here, is he going to be able to, to hold? The good thing is that Balas is sending... Oh, come on, man. They, they don't, they don't, no, this is not acceptable, he, he's killing so many fishing ships to sunset, and he's the Vikings, man. Well, he has a lot of galleys, he's coming with more and more fire ships, just, just hold, man, he's gonna lose more fishing ships, ay ay ay, ay ay ay, ay ay ay, man. Ay ay ay. Well, Sunset is now on the way to Castle, which is good. His red is booming. Is he doing Hoopa some damage? No, he has one knight there, but he's going around. The problem is, like I told you, that now those blue marches gonna make the difference. He should buy a stone and make another tower, or those blue marches will kill more and more villages. That can happen. But I'm telling you something. If they don't do the damage, I guess a good boom here by Balas 
can make a big big difference we will see really soon if it's happening thank you for the following Juanba 92 he's on the way to castle age sunset like we said we mentioned already and now disaster is expected no walls no towers no nothing he's losing everything and the vikings here it's pretty much useless pretty much useless well they are getting the water but on land he's almost bye bye he has 25 villages so the vikings what he can do and remember the vikings the vikings here when you when the sling is also really nerfed completely nerfed it's become even more useless but we will find out we can see how hoop 50 villages 50 villages good booming coming spec no mercy 49 almost the same and valas 56 villages the good thing will be if if balas can make a great boom and go to imperial as fast as possible but really here orange is dead he is completely out of the game look at this man this is a natural no a huge disaster why he's not buying a stone and make like i said another tower here and with both towers he's completely protected also sunset is doing now the fletching the fletching what the damn hell now the fletching if you went on water kidding me now he's doing a siege workshop well with the siege workshop he might kill that but still the only chance here and it's an important chance is that valas unbelievable and beautiful time when you start with no tc is on the way to imperial if he's sending now crazy amount of eagles he can really clean everything in this map he can't really clean everything 28 minutes i think what hoopers will do right now is stop doing tcs and make so many knights mass knight mass knight a lot of army why because you want to cover balas to cover balas and balas be able to destroy let's go to balas point of view and balas is going to imperial he's doing the art braces stone mining cartography everything if he's able to raid yellow well just to raid they can't really win the game we will see if that can happen orange 19 villages 19 villages 17 army he's on water yes some fishing ships as well yes he's sending the galleys and gonna take down those fishing ships all right but he's gonna be able valas with 64 villages now and eight fishing ships to kill everything we will find out soon but he's gonna keep losing more and more villages oh man why why you are not doing another tower man oh come on he's losing all man he's losing all man 19 villages 18 he's getting destroyed also my god is coming he's oh, of course really really on panic mode sunset on a full titanic mode really complicated now resources for for balas you can see he will make elite eagles right away yes he has the resources it's hupe doing army well he has some army let's see if he why well, he's not sending few knights oh come on come on but what what, what is this man gonna shot what is this man gonna shot 14 villages come on man come on micro properly ay 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 okay he's going back University Hoopé, look at the castle on his face and Hoopé didn't even notice. What I don't understand is why Hoopé palisade all the map like this. Now he break the palisade and he just don't pay attention. I think Hoopé play, Hoopé play weird, man. Sloppy, man. This is not possible. I mean, you know that he's there with TCs and you got no army. You got four monks, knights, camels and you didn't even explore in the whole game. You're just doing villages here. But anyway, let's see if now with the eagles going, they can do something. They need to kill red. Well, the eagles are coming. He just need a palisade there. But this is Hoopa palisade. Let's see if he will be let it to let him raid. We will see, guys. We will see. See it works up. This is his own palisade. He only need to delete and he clean kill everything to crossfade. But He's not deleting. He's not deleting, so he's not attacking. Now they are walling on a panic mode. Yes, but it's open. All open. They could really, they could really raid completely. Are they going to do? Now he deleted everything. There you go. Finally. Yes. Population for Balas really, really strong. The score difference is huge because Orange is bye bye. Really bye bye. He's moving the villages and with 15 villages trying to make a TC somewhere. 
Now Plume marches, killing all to Hupe because Hupe is doing now the second stable. Not bloodlines. No, no plus one. I don't know what Hupe is doing here. What he really needed is to mass knights. A lot of knights when when Green is going imp, that you know that he's booming, just go and make an army do something because expect no mercy. Now he's in imperial. He's in imperial while Hupe is not up yet and expect no mercy. Ooh, with one of the 10 population, he has more population, he is gonna make the damage. Well, those eagles are killing some eagles, are killing some knights. Is he doing or not? He's killing the gate, man. He's attacking the gate with the eagles, guys. He's attacking the gate with the eagles. He got 10 eagles there and he was killing the gate. Look at the HP, guys. He attacked the gate. Well, like this is impossible. Like this is impossible. If the gate is open and you are attacking the gate and not the army, what you can do, guys? Oh man, 98 population. Speak no mercy, 117. Huge advantage. This is game over, sadly. But in this, Nomad has been some total domination. And look at this, Orange, no TC, 15 other villages, 18 army. Ay ay ay. Yeah, well, the Eagles can do some damage, but but still. Well, I wasn't confident about this map from them, really. I think Nomad is, is not the way to go. I don't know why they pick Nomad. These guys are good in Nomad and... Uh, they should pick other map. Well, I don't know. Still, those Eagles are huge. Really strong. Plus four. They are doing good damage. But you need to kill. You need to kill the uh, villagers. They are not doing. The good thing is, and I'm telling you, be careful. Because the good thing is that they are going to have now two players in Imperial. And now, now, he's reading a lot Valas. Ay ay ay. Red is not in Imperial yet. Is he close to go? Crossfade? Not really. Well, he can sell resources, buy some food and yeah, can go. But still, two players in him. Are they may be going to be able to do something else. This is now a lot of... Look at the army, guys. Oh, 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 oh. We were telling. But really, now I'm checking and Valas has a lot of eagles. He managed to manage to, to mass a lot. So Classic Pro is going to be an Imperial. Yeah. But if they push now, they can put it him down. Really? Let's see, man. Let's see if they can do something. With the amount of Cavaliers, Hoopa is doing Cavaliers, now the Bloodlines, come on Hoopa, you can do it better, vamos, vamos! Okay, a lot of Knights, plus two, and uh, Cavaliers, Cartography, Orange is with, well, with the TC now, trying to recover, trying a bit to recover, but they are not ready in yellow, can yellow go now, what, blue marchers? Probably, but red is still, red is still in Castellate, if they raid a red, they can be two versus two, and that can be another thing. Now he's open, so he can really raid a lot. Come on, man, those Cavaliers plus four can make the difference. But plus four, man, plus four, those blue matches are still not upgraded. Now he's sending the Cavaliers, but Green is here. He's here, come on, you need, don't kill the castle, just go and raid, raid. Why they are not raiding the economy? I don't understand. Spec No Mercy is doing the Paladin. Yes, he's raiding, still. The difference is the score is not that incredible and huge, but why he's killing with so many eagles, the stable, the houses, go raid someone. They are not killing. They are just not killing. Look, what is he doing with the eagles? Raid, man. Why I'm cheating like this? Because we want another game, right? We want another game. Of course, we want. But still, He's trying to kill a stable, why right there? Okay, he's sending out Trebuchet to kill the castle. I, I would raid here. I would really raid here. Well, raid is, raid is not going up to Imperial, that's the good thing. And now with Cavaliers and a lot of and a lot of Eagles, still no, no Eldorado. With 100 HP, those Eagles would be, would be huge. But now he's raiding yellow. That's a good job. 140 population, 140 population for both. Those he is going to be enough to kill those Cavaliers? Possibly, yes, because they are sending more and more. No, man, that, that Cavalier is now really strong. Yes, yeah, so look how green. Yeah, this will go together. Why Hoop is not there? But come on, kill the Cavaliers. Stop killing the houses. I'm getting angry. He's doing some raiding. Yeah, but Palace is, is now losing also the trip with the Villiers. 
Yeah, and he has paladins. No, man. They, I was trying to, to think that they can do something, but this is impossible. ECG. Like you say, ECG, man. What the hell? Ay, ay, ay. Well, I don't know. Praise and some others. I don't know if there are some experts. Mm, I know that bike is, is good, but isn't risky to, to put away the Chinese? I, even the Chinese didn't make great job here. Like, he's not even in Imperial yet. But I'm not sure. I'm not an expert on, on Nomad. I don't know too much. Well, I know something about Nomad, but not that much. But uh, Chinese, I think, is a must. Yeah. Anyway. We will see. Now Paladins, Blue Marchers. Cavaliers plus two plus four. Speak No Mercy is now doing the husbandry. So really, the advantage is huge, man. It's huge. I never played it. Well... Why I called you expert then, praise? What the fake this praise, man? <laughs> and look at those paladins. Yeah, it's a huge advantage. Now going with the paladins, going to kill all those villagers. Yeah, he's gonna. He's, they are destroying. This is this is game over, guys. This is game over. Yes. Well, he's moving. Yellow has all the map. They are. They all have more population than any of the Finland players. Any from Finland. So wow. Epic music. Well, it's medieval total war music. If you like it, exclamation mark music, and you can get this when you are playing on Vuvli. Yeah, they are not. They are not choosing the right strategies. And the rating is, is real, rating all over the map, like you can see. And they never push completely. Now now he's sending the eagles. Why why he didn't send the eagles before and like destroy red? Anyway, even if they destroy red, blue has been with paladins and yellow taking all the map. So probably the result will be the same. Exactly the same. Picken is in the house. Yes! That's the way to go. And now crossfade is on the way to Imperial pretty late, to be honest. But it's still 150 population. So many castles. Now he's getting back all those villagers. Yeah, but Sunset is 70 population. Hupe is, is dead. Completely dead. He never walled, he never pushed it there. And Palace is not also in good population. So, Finland B, it's gonna be out of the tournament in my opinion yeah was nice the first game this one for me was i don't know the the choice of this map they are calling the new game it wasn't probably the best it wasn't probably the best man wow let's go and check the achievements achievements military well speak no mercy kill a lot 41 largest army classic pro 63 largest army whoa yeah well, Sunset 20 largest army, villages 57. He was out of the game. He did 93 villages, but 51 army, he couldn't do the damage. And Hupe, 34 army with 116 villages. And the time in Imperial, that's also really important. 30 minutes, Persians 34, Hupe. Ay, ay, ay. Well, it's true, 36, 28, but he went boom and he couldn't kill. Economy, spec no mercy, great boom. And this is Ukraine 2. Ukraine 2, Finland B, zero, guys, zero. Whoa, they advance to the next stage. Stay absolutely tuned, guys, because more nations can will come.